morning. I'm in Exeter today to meet up with Kirsten. And I'm a little bit early. And we always meet at Primark, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to do a little shop with me in Primark. Let's go and see what they've got. In the entrance as you come in. These are back again, aren't they? Quite like this tote bag. Nice colour for spring and summer, that's £11. Really not intending to buy much, but decided I needed a bag. Look at the knitwear section, how pretty does that look? All the bright colours. Fab. £12 jumpers in all of the colours and stripes. God, that just screams 1980s, isn't it? This one, I think I saw um, Michaela McDade showing this one in a video <coughs> recently. £16 that, super soft as well. That is such a good bargain for a little skinny red knit, £8, and it comes in all of those colours. And some more over here as well. Gloves down to one pound there. They've got them in grey as well. I feel like I'm a bit over the whole winter coat thing at this stage of winter. In fact, I'm only wearing a cardigan today because I hate coats so much. So bulky. But um, still quite a lot of coats in store. Quite drawn to the pink fur. A cropped fur jacket, not for me, but um, quite nice. Jacket is still alive and kicking in Primark. Fabulous autumn colours there. I feel like jackets are quite bulky. I'm, ne I'm never sure, as I said in my last shop with me and Marks and Spencers, never sure how I feel about them. Now I quite like this green dog tooth, but so short, so short. Reduced to seven pounds as well. Always drawn to this colour purple midi dress sort of empire line. The Primark edit that is. That's, hang on, I need my glasses on for that. 22 that one is. This tiered style is obviously still in as well. I quite like that. That's um, £12. That's a good price isn't it? That's lovely for a little summer dress. I can see myself in that, but I shall not. I don't need it. I like this sort of long line shirt. It's in black and also in pink. Size four, heavens, 14 pounds. They've still got quite a lot of reduction sections in here. Quite a lot of sort of sparkly and quite a lot of sort of summer type stuff in the sale. A wall of very brightly coloured tailored jackets. Look at that orangey colour, that's amazing. That's a difficult colour to wear. Nice if you've got olive skin and dark hair, but um, yeah, quite difficult, I think. This one though, lime green. Love that. Can you just imagine that with a pair of sort of tapered navy trousers? I think that would be really nice. Sorry, forgot to do a price check on that. 27 down to 15. Coming into holiday season stuff, I guess. Pink and purple suitcases. Lots and lots of hats reduced in the sale. Down to one pound and two pounds. Lots and lots of very small, multicolored handbags in all the shades of the rainbow. Not sure that would be just about work for an evening bag for me. That's actually a much nicer grey. The camera's bleaching the green out. I've got it in a pale blue as well. Seven pounds. And it's got a strap. Pretty that. I like this one as well, which has got a sort of chain type thing going on. Definitely the theme of very colourful spring summer coming up. Feels like it's going to be happening in Primark as well as Marks and Spencer's. I really like this big knitted 
scarf which is down from nine pounds to five pounds i don't really need it but it's super soft and i like the sort of fair isle design and it feels quite cozy very nice this is giving me all the 80s vibes again there's i just feel like i've been transported back into 1987 look at the colors a whole bunch of electronic beauty gadgets. They've got curling ones and light up mirrors and barrel curlers and straighteners. Kirsten's now with me. She's just sidled up beside me, but she's not the first person to have done that since I've been in here, so I ignored her till I realised it was her. Um, look at the fake converse, aren't they nice colours? I like the pale green. Yeah, and they've got this nice blue. Oh, I can't be doing with the ones that come up my ankles. No, I find them uncomfortable. Nice colors, but, yeah, they are nice colours. I like the lilac as well. I would have lilac ones. Pretty shoes. Look, they've got the ones that I've got. I've got those ones. Which I haven't ever worn because they're far too high for me. But they do stand on my um, shelf looking lovely. They've got them in pink as well. And so colourful. Look at those. Heavens. I like the velvet ones. Those. Oh yes, I noticed some purple crush velvet somewhere as well. I think well, it was in the sale. Some green satin ones are only fiver. But they would break your ankle. Oh, they're too big for me. <laughs> Summer's coming, folks. Flip flops in all the colours. And they're still only one pound. Primark one pound flip flops must be the only thing that hasn't gone up <laughs> in the whole country. <laughs> That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Got fair lined. What do you call those? Baseball boots, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I yeah? don't know what the official name is, but yeah, all fur lined. They've got a slightly wedge here. Do you know what? I'm all about anything furry at the moment. This cold is not doing me any good. It's too short, isn't it? This is the problem with a lot of things in Primark. Lovely cosy pyjamas, but the top is far too short. I guess it's cheaper because they don't have so much fabric. Same with that one, you see. Yeah. Lovely, cosy looking lilac it's really soft. but the top is far too short. This is glam. I like this. This reminds me of Ted Baker, the satin pyjamas, and they've got a matching dressing gown, kimono dressing gown as well. That's lovely. I love the colour, um, the floral colourway, colour palette. Colour palette. Quite like the red leopard print nightwear. They've got a long nightie. Pajama bottoms, don't see a top, but really nice um, dressing gown as well. Is that underwear? Yeah, I think so. Heavens, it's, surely it's a bikini. It's got, um, it's got, well, I'd... well, heavens. Oh, looks very uncomfortable. Very itchy. <laughs> We've got the sale going on in the home department. There's a few Christmassy bits still there. Oh, these are unusual. Sort of zigzaggy candles. Rather like those. Pound for the pair. If I buy any more throws or cushions, Ashley will kill me. <laughs> Look, this bedding kind of matches those pajamas. You could have the whole matching set, the pyjamas, the dressing gown and the bedding. <laughs> Fabulous. These are gorgeous, super soft throws. The large one is... I cannot see a price on that. It's obviously free. These boots with the pink soles have been reduced from £20 to £10. I have to say I'm not surprised. Because, well, your dog walk, well, they would, <laughs> yes, that's true. They're not really wellies, though. Well, I suppose the bottom half of them sort of is, but the top half sort of isn't. Well, I'm back from Primark. In fact, it's the next day. Sorry, I thought you were about to fall off there. I was about to save you. It's the next day, and I thought I'd show you the few bits that I bought. It's certainly not a giant haul by any stretch of the imagination. But I did buy a few bits. Um, I was a little bit disappointed by Primark. I felt like, considering it's the, it was 
the 30th of January when we visited, I felt like there was a lot of sales stuff still left. It was very jumble sale um, and almost the whole centre of the main floor of the store was taken up. Well, well the only floor that downstairs is kids and men's, which wouldn't be of any interest to me at all. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of space. Well, a lot of space was taken up with the jumble sale sales stuff. Um, and there didn't seem to be a lot of people showing much interest in it, I have to say. It was quite quiet in there when I was in there. But there didn't seem to be a lot of new season stuff yet. Um, so, yeah, I didn't have... It wasn't my favourite trip to Primark ever, but I did buy a few little bits. Um, I decided to get this jumper, the grey leopard print one. I got it in a... 2XL and it was £16. Main reason I decided to get this jumper is that I am so sick. The weather has been so cold this winter and I have been, and obviously I'm not using the heating as much and stuff because of the cost of living um, that I've been rotating. My, I don't have loads of jumpers and I've been rotating the ones I do have and I'm absolutely sick of them all. So I thought I'd get another one. Now cue the weather going to be perfect for, you know, not cold at all from now on. But um, I did very much like this. So if I don't wear it this winter, it will do for next winter. Next thing I got was this glycolic acid body lotion. Um, I hear good things about glycolic body lotions, body cream even. This is 1% glycolic and it was £4, which is an absolute bargain. Um, there's a branded one called Ameliorate, which is very, very pricey for a body cream. Um, I don't know what percentage of glycolic that has in it, but I will look it up and see if this is comparable. And I'll let you know how I get on with it. Um, also in the skincare department, I bought myself a niacinamide face mask, which was £1.30, a sheet mask. And then I got three pairs of sunglasses. Why, Caroline, do you need three pairs of sunglasses, you might say? You only have one face, which is a very valid point. However, I like my cheapy Primark sunglasses. And within the last two months, I have sat on two pairs in the car and um, bro broken them. And also, the other pair that I've got in the car at the moment is the um, arms of stretch. So every time I lean my head forward, they fall off my head. <laughs> So, yeah, I thought it was time for some new ones. So I got these black ones, which were £2.50. I do love my Primark sunglasses. And then I got these sort of tortoise shelly ones, which were, again, £2.50. Those ones. And finally, I got these ones, which I think are identical to the ones that I've got in the car that have gone baggy. Um... These were £3.50. I can't get that around my ear with that label on. Those ones. So, yeah, stocked up on my sunglasses after having had a bit of a smashing time with my sunglasses recently. And that little lot came to a total of £31.80. Actually, it didn't because £2 of that was Kirsten's hair clip that I paid for to save her queuing separately. Um, she, she gave me the money, but um, yeah, I just, it just went through on mine, my um, thingamajig. So yes, they were £29.80 for that little lot. Right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be back again on Sunday with a weekly vlog. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.